Joshua officially turns down the $50 million from offer from Deontay Wilder. That's right. Anthony Joshua rejects the $50 million offer from Deontay Bronze Barmer Wilder. I told you guys Povetkin would be next. I, I already told you guys. They don't want to fight Deontay Wilder. Eddie Hearn doesn't want it, man. I told you guys, E-King fight news. More on this. All right, first and foremost, shout out to World Boxing News for the exclusive. Promoter Eddie Hearn has cited input from Anthony Joshua trainer Robert McCracken as part of the reason the trio have decided not to accept the $50 million deal to fight Deontay Wilder in America. Even though Joshua seemed keen at first, I don't know what what the fuck don't people understand about Anthony Joshua asking almost in a way that was condescending thinking that he he couldn't believe it would it would be in disbelief if Wilder could uh you know bring bring in that kind of money to the table you know and to, to say he was keen at first is, uh, that's got to be an understatement. A meeting involved Eddie Hearn and McCracken produced the ultimate agreement that the unified champion should be able to defend his belts at home. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Eddie Hearn does this fucking two-on-one with his trainer trying to convince Joshua. I, man... Oh my goodness. This guy is is the devil. He really is. He he knows how to sway his fighters into the direction as he pleases. Man, he just fuck he just fucking bossed up on Anthony Joshua and convinced him. Man, unbelievable. Eddie Hearn, man, he knows how to manipulate his fighters. That's that's very clear. So this is Eddie Hearn's quote. One thing for is for absolute certain. AJ wants to fight Wilder next. Hearn began when speaking to Telegraph. He's made that clear. He also feels, after talking to his trainer and manager, that this is a fight that should be delivered in the UK. One for the fans. Two, he feels like he earned the right. Wilder has boxed in Sheffield before. That's true. That's, that's one thing people uh, fail to acknowledge. Is that Deontay Wilder uh, knocked out uh, Audley Harrison in the UK. Uh, also, he agreed to box in Russia for $4 million. When we sat down, it seemed a little bit weird to be... Tra what? Tra a little bit weird to travel to the US? Where el where the fuck else do you go for a mega fight? How many times has Joe Calzaghe decided to you know he did he did decide to bring over an American to fight in the UK, but his most notable fight to date was the Las Vegas pay per view against Bernard Hopkins. That's just facts, guys. At the time, Bernard Hopkins was sort of an, almost in a new stage of his career where he, it's almost like he had a, his second prime as an old man. <laughs> and then he, he wound up fighting Joe Calzaghe in a fight that was so razor thin. And, and, goes, and Calzaghe just nicked it. He won literally by a point. You know? <laughs> Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, AJ, man, like, get the fuck out of here with Eddie Hearn, man. AJ needs to leave fucking Eddie Hearn, who's clearly the roadblock in this fight. I mean, it's so clear. It's just, this is, rem you, you know why people compare this to, to uh, Pacquiao Mayweather? It's Bob Arum, for a long time, was the, was the, most likely the roadblock into making Pacquiao Floyd. 
And something very similar is occurring with Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua making this fight. Something ve- It's so obvious. It's unbelievably obvious right now. Unbelievably obvious. But let's continue, guys. As a fighter, AJ doesn't care where the fight is. He <laughs> what the fuck? I don't, get the fuck out of here, man. Get this guy the fuck out. I can't even read this shit. It's unbelievable. He doesn't know about the game, but Rob was like, he doesn't know enough about the game, but Rob was like, why go to America? There's a difference in going when the money is not life-changing. Yes, home is an advantage, but AJ generally is thinking more. Get the fuck out of here with this fan. What the fuck? I've never heard any fighter talk like this. Like the fans. I, I, this is unbelievable. Put this guy in the ring with Tyson Fury, man. I'm done with this shit. Get Anthony Joshua in the ring with Tyson Fury. If you ain't going to fucking fight Bronze Bomber Deontay Wilder because you want to keep ducking, the um, clearly duck this man time and time again. Just go ahead and fight Tyson Fury and see how that turns out. Because man, I'm, I'm done with Eddie Hearn right now, man. I'm just done. This is this is disheartening as a fan right now. Watching Eddie Hearn fuck this fight over and over again. It's unbelievable. Okay, but AJ is genuinely thinking more of the fans in his decision. How many would be able to get in America? Maybe 6,000 to 10,000 fans? What the fuck is wrong with that? What the like? I, what what is so sad? They can watch on pay per view, Eddie. Like, like, are you are you that retarded? They're gonna sit home and watch on pay per view. That's what's gonna happen. And you're gonna rank it. You're gonna get the fuck out of here. And this guy wants to shot. This guy Eddie Hearn wants to spend his 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 billion dollar budget on fucking Chavez Jr. right now. Chavez, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Instead of trying to make this fight happen? Are you mad? Like, are you... Like, isn't that what you say in UK? Are you mad? <laughs> yeah, you... I mean, this is... This is Eddie Hearn, man. This is like... The, I don't think you guys understand how much of a scumbag Eddie Hearn is. You guys don't get it, man. He can't fight news. More on the story. All right, the last thing I'm going to say is if Eddie Hearn really wants Deontay Wilder to come over to the UK for a fight, all you got to do is give him a percentage offer that is respectable. The word is Joseph, and this is coming from their team. Joseph Parker said they got 33 and a third percent to face Anthony Joshua. That's... And I pretty, you know, I pretty much called that shit. But at the end of the day, Deontay Wilder stock is way higher than a Joseph Parker right now, and it was even higher before that fight even uh, came to fruition. Yet Anthony Joshua selected the easier opponent in Joseph Parker, as we all knew was go- as I knew was going to happen, and. Now what's going on? Just offer Wilder fucking 39%, 40%. Make the fight happen. Stop dicking around. But no, you want to fight Alexander Povetkin. For some reason, you guys want to run AJ into a loss. Now you're going to just run him into a loss and kill the fight dead. I swear to God. I, I swear to fuck Eddie Hearn's going to run AJ into a loss. And kill this fight dead. The way it's going right now. I'm telling you guys. 
I'm telling you guys right now, AJ's gonna run into a loss, and he's gonna kill this fight. Mark my words, E King Fight News. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <laughs> Y'all know what it is, man. Just imagine if this dude AJ gets KO'd by Pavetkin. You know, he's got to either deal with Pavekin or Wilder. There's no other options right now. There's no other. He can't turn around and fight a voluntary in the U.S. So, you know, I'm going to do a follow-up video on that. E-King fight news, man. Peace.